So, hello everyone, I am Megan Rohr, and this is... I am Xander Keg. And uh, we're working on a film called Xanderology. We just did a bunch of shooting, and we're excited to share a little bit of that with you once we get some more editing done. But we wanted to take a second today and tell you a little bit about what the film is we think we're making. Um, so the idea is that Xander is one of the most interesting people I've ever met. <laughs> and has transitioned a bazillion ways throughout his life, was born dead, was paralyzed through encephalitis, um, was a gang member, you were um, institutionalized in a mental hospital, yeah. um, lived in, a, in boarding care, you were then in the military, you became an undercover drug agent, yeah. you went to school, you became really highly educated, you got three graduate degrees, yeah. and you are now a social worker who works with the homeless, and you transitioned from female to male. Oh, that, yeah, that one little thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, just a whole lot of transitions, and particularly because we live in a world where people say change isn't possible, or they say that people are kind of stuck in their position in life, and, and aren't always as hopeful, we thought we would move kind of beyond this idea of telling people that it gets better and showing them how yeah. and some of the things that have worked in your life and I just think that if if you were a subject in school that it would be called Xanderology, it'd be a little bit of biology, <laughs> it'd be a little bit of philosophy, a little bit of a religion course and maybe a little bit of stand-up comedy <laughs> class. Uh, Absolutely. But it would be a beautiful way to kind of look at our humanness and I I guess I wonder if you could share a little bit about what you think the, the essence of, of that story is for people. Well, for me, you know, talking about transitions and change has a lot to do with the lessons that I learned at a really young age from my dad about um, going with the flow and not having too many expectations and um, that suffering is a part of life and to change the way I think about things so that I can change the way that, that my life is and how I show up for life. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, such a, it's such a part of me that it's even difficult for me to talk about it um, in detail because it's just how I live now. So it's part of what we've been doing is going over some of the stories that have happened throughout my life to help me put into words this life that I've lived because it doesn't seem that extraordinary to me and it doesn't seem that um, I didn't really look at it in the way that Megan has helped me to look at it, which is all of these transitions I've made. It, it was just my life. so. Well, I think it's good stuff. We're, we both happen to be in helping professions, kind of for our day jobs. I'm a pastor. I spend my time here in San Francisco and have for the last 11 years feeding the homeless and hungry. And Xander is a social worker who helps homeless vets over in, in Oakland. Yeah. And what that means is that your support for our Kickstarter fund is, is maybe more meaningful because those helping professions are not the highest paid. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Homeless pastors are not making the world's largest amounts of money, and 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 we've been very successful in our ability to have letters letters for our brothers be something that has received some awards, and and that some of the work that we do because we're passionate and are excited to help others and to mentor others so that they have kind of good role models yeah. in a world where the media is only going to show you really loud, angry stories of people whose lives are dramatic maybe in, in less positive ways. Um, even though we've, we've gained some success from that, it hasn't really been a monetary yeah, kind of thing. Not financially. Yeah, so we are, we are really hopeful that, that you will help fund our Kickstarter campaign, whether it's $1. We've had some people who have pledged $1, and I'm as stoked about that as yeah. people who pledge thousands of dollars. Um, because it's a community that's helping to tell this story and helping to support this story and be 
feed us. Yeah. <laughs> feed us and make sure we have good equipment so that when the story is told, it can be shown at film festivals and hopefully can reach the largest audience out there. And if you if you know either of the two of us, you know that we kind of bust our butts pretty hard to get <laughs> projects done. Um, and so any of the funds that we raise over kind of the bare bones amount we've put here on Kickstarter will go towards getting the movie out there to as many audiences as possible. And if possible, getting us to some of those cities to educate people in schools and in colleges and in any location that will will have us because we really think that the more people hear stories of, of triumphing over adversity and transition being a healthy option for people, that it really changes the world. And so we thank you for being a part of that, whether it's just through sharing this on your Facebook, donating a dollar to five thousand um, dollars, or you know, just saying, I wanna watch that when it's done. So thank you. Thank you very much.